With the growth in teams and education, one of the key questions I'm asked is surrounding the creation of read-only areas in class teams. Let's look at how to do this. So, first of all, I'm in the file section of um, my team. Okay, so I'm in the general channel in the file section. Okay, um, you can set this up in any channel. Um, I'm just choosing to be in the general channel. Okay, so um, I've set up a folder called read-only. Okay, and I've ticked that and I'm going to open it in SharePoint. Okay, and once I go through SharePoint, um, we can see that the read-only file is there. I'm going to tip the side of it. You'll notice my SharePoint probably looks a little bit different to yours. Um, I've changed the, the colours just so that you can see it a bit better. Okay, so um, I've ticked the file and I'm going to click on I. And then I'm going to click on Manage Access. Okay. And much like I would do if I were looking at um, sharing files in OneDrive, and looking at changing permissions, I'm just going to change the permissions for class members. So at the bottom here, we can see test class SOL members can edit this folder or files within this folder. Um, I'm going to change that to view only. OK. And now any file that I put into that folder should then also have those read only permissions. So if I log in as a student, let's have a look at what happens when I try to open up a file and edit it. So I'm going to open up Beowulf, okay, and I'm just going to choose to edit that in Teams. And so then if I try to type, we can see that it's up saying that the um, document is read only.